Finally, Miranda, I was uh, talking to my accountant this morning and he thinks I've invested way too much money in this magazine and, um, well, this is rather difficult. Um, he wants me to make some cutbacks. Oh, so that's how it goes, huh? Just like that. For five years, I busted my hump for you and now I'm just a cutback? Oh, you know what? We'll just... I've had to fire my chauffeur. <laughs> like I said, you sit down and let Miranda take care of you. Would you be a love and give me a lift to my investors' meeting? Oh, well, why don't you just borrow my car? <laughs> borrow your car. That's good. <laughs> I can just see me in your Datsun or whatever it is you toodle about in. <laughs> oh, I can hear them already. Oh, look, there goes Ian Maxstone Graham, international publishing icon in his economy car. <laughs> you don't know how to drive, do you? No. <laughs> Would you mind trying on Mr. Osaka's hat? Oliver, you have to hear this, okay? okay? It's a letter that I wrote to myself in the sixth grade. All right. <clears throat> Dear Susan, it's the year 2000, you're 33, and by now you've accomplished all your major goals. You're a doctor who's cured lots of diseases and stuff. <laughs> you've climbed Mount Everest, you're married to a race car driver, you have a whole bunch of kids, you kissed Leif Garrett, and you've seen your name up in lights. Can you believe this? <laughs> I know, over six. <laughs> Everybody wants a girl like Susan. Slow down, open the windows, make a left, make a right. It's time you learn how to drive yourself, Miss Daisy. I can't, I've tried several times. I, I, I just get too nervous. It stems from my silly fear of having a steering column jammed through my chest. Ian, if you're serious about learning how to drive, I have a friend who owes me a favor. You ever heard of Dario Franchitti? Dario Franchitti? The winner of the Kart FedEx Championship Honda Gold Coast Indy at Surface Paradise, Australia. Yeah, you ever heard of him? No. <laughs> um, I tell you what, why don't you forget about Mr. Frankiti? Miranda and I are fine with having her just toodle me around. Nay, call your race car friend. <laughs> the gate. Maddie Piper knows she doesn't work here anymore. And frankly, between you and me, nobody really misses that nasty bitch. <laughs> Oh, hi, Maddie. <laughs> yeah, it has been too long. <laughs> what? You're kidding. Does Luis know? Oh, no, no, no. I am not telling your ex-boyfriend. Hello? Matt? Oh. Uh, Luis? I have something to tell you. Um, okay. First, the good news. We're invited to Maddie's wedding. The bad news... Oh, oops. <laughs> Matt, Matt, Maddie's getting married. Oh, my God. No, no, it's okay. I'm, I'm, I'm happy for her. Good. Me too. Yeah. I mean, look, Maddie set goals for herself, and then she went out and achieved them. Yes, she did. Yeah. She, she, she got the, the network anchor job that, that she's always wanted, and now she's getting married, and before you know it, she'll have a family. Oh. Yeah. And not a moment too soon. I mean, after all, she is 33. Oh. <laughs> yep. Good for Maddie. <laughs> Susan, are, are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm just so happy for Maddie because she got everything that she wanted. <laughs> and me, look at me. I failed at all my goals. Yeah, I'm not a doctor. No, I don't have any kids. I've never kissed Leif Garrett. And I'm never going to see my name up in lights. And please, Everest, I get winded reading this letter. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Susan, will you give yourself a break? You wrote that in the sixth grade. And who knows what they want to be when they're 11? What did you want to be? An award-winning photographer. You see? But with superpowers. <laughs> and a sidekick monkey who helps me solve crimes. Hey, Oliver. 
Great news. I think I figured out who stole our stapler. Hey there, designated driver. What time are we leaving for Maddie's wedding? Oh, I can't make it. There's a little thing that I've got to take care of this weekend. Like what? Like kissing Leif Garrett. <laughs> what? Okay, look, I know it sounds silly, but I cannot move on unless I do at least one thing that's on this list. And realistically, kissing Leif Garrett's the only thing I can do before the millennium. Never heard of this uh, Leif Garrett. Who is he? You never heard of him? What, did you grow up under a rock? No, under a communist dictatorship. <laughs> well, he was only the most gorgeous teen idol. Oh, he had this long golden hair. He was on all the covers of Tiger Beat. Girls worshipped him. That's interesting. Yeah, in my country, we worship people who are honest and hardworking. But if you say he had long golden hair, I suppose that's also an admirable quality. He wasn't just a teen idol. Oh, he was an actor and a singer, remember? I was made for dancing. Oh, 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 not long. I was made for dancing. Oh, oh. What, you think you had to be white to read Tiger Beat? <laughs> Susan, don't tell me that you are still obsessing over that letter. I mean, you know what? Think of all the things that you have accomplished. Yeah, says the world-famous photographer. Admit it, you've gotten everything you've ever wanted. Maybe not everything. What's that supposed to mean? Just that maybe the best is yet to come. Now, forget about this letter, because you don't need to see your name up in lights to know that you are an intelligent, beautiful woman who's also a very talented writer. You're just saying that to make me feel better. See how intelligent you are? <laughs> well, anyway, thank you very much for the pep talk. I think it really helped. The number for Leif Garrett in Los Angeles, please. Yeah, like he's just going to be listed. 0170, thank you very much. <laughs> Hi, this is Leif Garrett. Can't come to the phone right now because I'm on the road. Oh, he's probably on some big you rock and roll tour. You can see me at Rogers in Hammerstein's Oklahoma. <laughs> at the Curtain Up Dinner Theater in Reno. Tickets are going fast, so make a reservation. The critics are saying this Oklahoma is okay. <laughs> Be sure to try the filet of soul. It's delish. <laughs> if we leave now, Vic, we can make it there by tonight. Come on. Oh, boy, Leif Garrett in Oklahoma. Chicks and girls and gays better scurry. I can't believe we couldn't get a ticket to see the show. Come on, Leif Garrett and Filet of Soul for 1995. You do the math. Isn't there one of those goals on that list that's a little easier to accomplish? Well, I could still marry a race car driver, yeah, but they're really so hard to meet. Hi, my name is Mr. King. You think we could get together for a cup of coffee? Point taken. What are you doing? Oh, I'm just putting on some watermelon lip smacker. I want this kiss to be just as I always imagined it. God, this stuff takes you back, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. oh, I don't know. My mother wouldn't let me wear makeup. She thought I might turn out cheap. I always used to fantasize that Leif would be my first. <laughs> well, it's a little late for that, isn't it? <laughs> but third is good. Oh, chaps over the pants. Well, we'll fix that, Hoss. Um, hi, excuse me. Oh, hi there. Um, look, I'm really sorry to bother you. I'm sure you get this all the time. <laughs> what? Well, you know. Do you think you could introduce me to Leif? Oh, I've had such a crush on him ever since I was a little kid. Oh, that golden hair. I mean, I know this sounds silly, but what I wouldn't give to run my fingers through that hair. Oh. Yeah, you and me both. <laughs> Hi, Leif. Really? What a coincidence. That's not a common name. <laughs> no, I mean Leif Garrett. You know, I was made for dancing. Oh, 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 all night long. Yeah, it's actually more like, oh, 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 all night long. <laughs> You've embarrassed yourself enough. Hi, Leif, Leif Garrett. Ah! <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, it is you. It is you. Oh, oh. <laughs> You're Susan oh. Keen. You remember me. Oh, from your fan club, District 634. You know, your newsletter really did say that you cared about each and every one of us, but I never expected that you can remember little Susie Keen. <laughs> your name is on your press pass. Oh. <laughs> well, I'm a writer for The Gate magazine in San Francisco. Oh, you doing a story on me? Well, no, actually, it's about this. 
if that's a summons, I was lying. That's Leif Garrett right there. No, you don't understand. Wow, it's... Leif Garrett. I'd know that bulge anywhere. <laughs> so, are uh, you guys going to do it or what? Okay, Vicky. Do what? Well, Susan has this little fantasy about you. Really? Came all the way here for a fantasy, huh? Well, we didn't drive five hours to hear you crucify Oh, What a Beautiful Morning. Now, in this fantasy, Susan is a love-struck teenager with watermelon lip smacker who's dying to kiss Lake Garrett. Okay, Vicky, Vicky, stop it. I'd be more than happy to oblige. Really? <laughs> really. Especially since there's no ring on that finger, and if this kiss goes well, it's a lot of wedding chapels in Reno. Oh, you might beat Maddie to the altar. Oh, yeah, that'll show her. No, that's not why I'm doing this. Why am I doing this? Well, let me give you a hint, babe. It's got something to do with those watermelon lips. This is crazy. No, 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 no. Kissing you is not going to change my life. I see your point. Maybe we should go all the way. No, I, I'm sorry that I bothered you. I should not have come here. Well, I may not have watermelon lips, but how do you feel about Blistex? <laughs> That was a good first outing. You haven't even started the car yet. And I'm not dead yet. Coincidence? I don't think so. Dario Franchitti has taken an hour out of his practice schedule. Just drive once around the track. Oh, I've never done that in a Hyundai. Gentlemen, start your engine. Oh, thanks very much. I think I've got the hang of it now. That's it, just put it in drive and ease out into that pack of cars doing 200 miles an hour. Wait, that's my life. <laughs> that's it, you're doing fine. Hey, look at me, I'm driving. <laughs> I, I see now why you chaps love it. The roar of the engine, the blur of the crowd, the sweet smell of burning rubber. That's the parking brake. <laughs> Thanks for coming all the way up there with me, Vic. No problem. It was worth it for the truck stop coffee and the beef jerky. <laughs> now I'm wide awake and I've got an entire cow rehydrating itself inside me. You have 47 messages. Susan. Hi, it's Leif. Garrett, from Oklahoma. It was great meeting you. Hope you got home all right. It's Leif again. Not home yet, huh? Well, you probably stopped for pie. I didn't mean to imply anything with that pie comment. It, it's not like you're fat. I mean, you could have stopped for salad. I like pie. Susan, it's Mick Jagger. Have you spoken to my good buddy Leif? Garrett. Okay, it's me, Leif. God, you're beautiful. Oh, what have I done? I feel like I've crossed a line. Never mind. Don't touch it. The police are going to want to listen to the tape. Oh, my God! What are you doing here? So, did you get my message? Is, is... <laughs> uh, yes, yes, I did. And I'm sorry that I misled you. Look, I know that the allure of watermelon lip smacker is very strong, but you've come here for nothing. That's life, life. It's life. Life Garrett, remember? You love me? <laughs> no, I don't. You see, okay, look, what was happening was I was getting all hung up with the fact that all my friends had accomplished all their goals and I hadn't. I thought that kissing you would somehow compensate for that, so I guess in a way I was using you. That's fine. <laughs> Use me, baby. <laughs> Let's get down and dirty. <laughs> okay, you heard the lady. Now make like a tree and leaf, leaf. Leaf! <laughs> oh, I feel like I'm flying. I go faster than this through a bag of chips.
Oh, good God, what was that? That's an Andretti and answer. Don't worry about them, they're, they're just showing off. What was that? That was an Andretti and answer again. Come on, this isn't a school zone. Yeah, put the pedal to the metal. Right. For the Queen. 30, 31, 32, 31. Huh, what's the case? What are you doing? Three seconds, about 120 miles an hour. I take it this is your first time in a Hyundai. 60, 65, 70. Oh, this is fantastic. <laughs> you got any Led Zeppelin back there? Ian, watch out! <laughs> ah! in the world, Maddie is marrying him. Thank you very much for sharing this very special day with us. You know, I was starting to give up hope that there ever was something like a healthy, loving relationship, and then along came Maddie to my beautiful bride. I love you. If you need me, I'll be at the gift table. I have to find a nice present to put this card on. But, uh, sorry, yeah, excuse me, I, I too would like to make a toast. Um, Maddie, uh, today my heart is filled with... something you won't be able to hear. Well, I had a box of rice that was about to expire, so I figured, what the hell? What'd I miss? Well, let's see, uh, a reading from the Corinthians, uh, an adorable little flower girl, and then the part where Maddie said she'd love, honor, and cherish Jerry Springer. Jerry Springer? Mm-hmm. Wait, well, that's who Maddie is marrying? Jerry Springer? Oh, my God, the guy hosts a freak show. Oh, Louise, you are so much better. Oh, God, I mean, why would anybody be attracted to Jerry Springer? Please look at him. <laughs> I am looking at him. <laughs> and what a fine-looking gentleman you are. Jerry, Jerry, I'm Jerry. I'm sorry, do I know you? I'm Susan. I RSVP'd no, but see, that was just because I was feeling really low about where I was in my life. But then I learned in Reno that you don't have to climb Mount Everest or try to track down a childhood idol to feel good enough about yourself to go to a friend's wedding and say that you're happy for her. Maddie's right. Uh, you'd be perfect for my show. <laughs> okay, uh, a, a toast to the lovely couple. Uh, Maddie and Jerry, I, I hope you find all of the happiness. You once, twice, three times a lady. And I love you. Oh my God. When we were together, the moments I cherish. Jerry? You didn't by any chance invite your bouncers here, did you? Is that Leaf Gary? It's Leaf! <laughs> to hold you, to touch you, to feel you, to need you. Did you bring Leif Garrett to my wedding? Uh, no, why would I do that? I don't even know the guy. <laughs> Susan's once, <laughs> twice. Susan's three times, my lady. Okay, maybe I met him once. Twice, three times, lady. Come on, big guy. Let's go party like it's 1979. Okay. L listen up, everyone. The, the, the ex-boyfriend is trying to take the high road and make a toast, okay? Uh, I hope you do live a long and, and uh, happy and, and prosperous and... Oh, screw it. Good luck, Jerry. She just lays there. Hey, Dario, buddy. Thanks for giving Ian the driving lesson. It's too bad about the accident. 
Oh, and thanks for keeping him company till the Jaws of Life came. Yeah, you know, he did okay, but if he's thinking of getting behind the wheel again, I think he might need this. Yeah. <laughs> Susan, would you hand me my jacket? Yeah, sure. My name in lights. Oh, oh wow, this is just... <laughs> I, I don't know what to say. Well, you, you don't have to say anything. How did you... Did you uh, this is just the coolest thing anyone's ever done for me. <laughs> well, you know what? I, I looked at your list, and Mount Everest is just so touristy this time of year. And medical school, well, that, that takes a long time. Yeah. And let's face it, right? I mean, where would I find a race car driver to marry? <laughs> yeah, that's just crazy. <laughs> <laughs> 